What about Mr. Bean now? Has, have you drawn a line under him? No more Mr. Bean? I, uh, I, you know, I, I doubt that he will reappear, but, um, but, but you never know. You must never... <laughs> the people have spoken. Well, people have spoken. <laughs> yeah, quite, quite. <laughs> They, but, you know, you must never say never again. A film, as Jeff mentioned, that I was in. <laughs> uh, uh, so you, you must never say never. But, I, you know, you, the, the, there does come a point when you feel as though you've done most of what you want to do with him. So. And because it's not based on language, because it's so physical, Mr. B, presumably it's popular everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it, is, it, it, it has what we might call a global outreach. So, uh, like, yes. are holidays a misery? Can you go um, anywhere? Uh, uh, yeah, I can't go to many places where you're not recognised. Um, uh, and <laughs> it's the, um, yeah, the thing I find most tricky is when people don't recognise you particularly, but half recognise you. You know, it's that strange <laughs> thing where they go... <laughs> is that, and of course that means they stare. They stare a lot. And they just look. <laughs> You're sort of feeling, I wish that person wouldn't stare at me. So, I, you know, I'd rather just, you know, hold up a flag saying, yes. <laughs> yes, that's me. Um, a, a few years ago, there was, um, I was in a Land Rover parts department near Peterborough, the kind of place you find me on most yes. Saturdays. Yes. <laughs> uh, and uh, we're waiting for car parts. And car parts, you, you guys hang around a lot because, you know, to get a part, the guy has to go half a mile to the back of the warehouse and then come back again and he brings it back. And he says, this is, this is a left-hand one. Oh, you wanted a right-hand one. Sorry, I'll go. <laughs> and that goes. And it, it takes forever. Anyway, I was standing around with, with a group of guys and I could see this guy doing that. <laughs> um, and he came up to me after a while and he said, excuse me, has anyone ever told you <laughs> that you're the absolute spitting image of that Mr. Bean? <laughs> said, well, actually, I am the actor who plays Mr. Bean. And he said, <laughs> I bet you wish you were. <laughs> and there followed this bizarre conversation in which the more I tried to claim that I was the person <laughs> whom he thought I merely resembled, the less he believed me. So he, but what was funny was how, was how close he thought I was to, to you know, he said, the resemblance <laughs> is uncanny. <laughs> Have you ever thought of doing any, um, you know, look-alike work, like, uh, you know, stag nights and head nights, you know, you can go along as Mr. Bean. <laughs> and I said, no, I haven't. He said, because you can make an absolute fortune. <laughs> and, uh, and, and I could tell after a while I had to bring the conversation to a close because clearly not only was he not believing me, but he was getting quite annoyed <laughs> you know, that I was pursuing this line of I am Rowan Atkinson when and clearly he thought I was this total arse. <laughs> who, just as I happened to look a bit like yeah. a Mr. Bean, goes around the country actually claiming to be Mr. Bean. <laughs> you know, what a twat. <laughs>